everyone, it's NewLefty586 here, and Dishonored, the DLC, was just announced. Now, I have a few problems with this. Let's start with the damn title. Dishonored DLC, that is getting released September 15th, is called Death of the Outsider. Now, this in itself has bodes a hell of a lot of issues with me. So, Billy and Dowd are teaming up to with for the ultimate assassination for the Outsider. Well, I have a lot of issues with this. First off, being that the Outsider is my favorite character and this is what the whole damn video slash rant is about. But when they announced this, uh, I, um, okay. When they announced this, I had my heart sink. Tears welled up in my eyes. I know what you guys are thinking. It's just a video game character. There's no way you should be this attached. Okay, well, here's the dealio. First off, I got into Dishonored when I was coming out of a very hard point in my life, and it was my crutch. So, for me, Dishonored in itself as a game was meant something very very valuable to me and then from that I latched on to the outsider because I could relate to him in some way and now all of a sudden they're like hey we're gonna kill him and everyone's like chippy chippy happy about it I'm sitting here bawling my eyes out in my defense I only got into one other thing this fucking hard and that was Helsing, and you guys know that because my entire channel is still based on Helsing, as well as Dishonored. Dishonored held a special place in my heart so much so that when I had heard that Dishonored DLC is literally called Death of the Outsider, I marked it on a calendar and I said must get all projects done by this point because after that it's kind of it turns into a memorial before it's kind of like he is still alive he's still around and so everything that I do right now is in his honor however if I do anything after September 15th 2017 it turns into a memorial September 15th more or less is his death day now I do not know if they plan on killing the outsider like straight up killing him or if Dowd and Billy ultimately fail and the outsider more or less gives up meddling in mundane affairs and it could be relating to a different kind of death. However, this does not negate my point in any way of the being and I was planning on building a real outsider shrine, a replica, here so now I have to get that done before September 15th. I don't have to but I want to as well as I am actually getting a tattoo of the outsider's mark along with one of his quotes and I knew I waited too long the blood ran out. Now this is actually the ending and beginning of uh, two different sentences and I'm putting them together into a single quote. This is, he says this when he pulls you into the void of his birthplace. For me it's a very very valuable lesson to do what you want to do when you still have time to do it because if you wait too long, as the quote suggests, the blood will run out for although for him it was much more quite literal as he waited too long and then his throat got cut. And I am way more into Dishonored and The Outsider than you guys may realize as the only thing I upload on my DA these days is Outsider material. And I actually just barely uploaded a Outsider X Emily uh, little piece and it's not anything uh, like shipped. I guess the piece of writing is actually just of Emily the Vengeful wanting to apologize to the outsider in a way. It, I, I based it from a dream. But I'm getting off point here. When I saw this, and I saw the release date, which was September 15th, 2017, so this year in a couple months, I saw the world like crash down before my eyes and everything that I knew and loved just exploded. And speaking of, I am wondering is how the hell they're going to pull that off. And also, the promotion 
for the DLC is Billy, and she looks pretty freaking cyborgy, which concerns me greatly. As well as the Death of the Outsider under title also concerns me greatly. Just, I'm not okay with this, but I will play it, and if there's an option to save the Outsider, I will do so, no matter what. End of discussion. And I do suddenly plan on finishing all of my Dishonored works, hopefully soon, and I want to get that done before while well, he is, quotes in the air, alive, and not after where it turns into memorial, and rather have it be a dedication. As well as my Dishonored, I'm going to do a slew of Dishonored AMVs just for this honor, and I plan on keeping him alive literally as long as possible. I'm just very pessimistic about the ending in hopes that Death of the Outsider is not literal. However, Dishonored tweeted that yes, we are going to kill the Outsider, so I am pessimistic in my hopes, so I do not want to get them up, but I also don't want to jump to conclusions as well. So this being said, I would just like to point out that this does not bode well with me, and I know that it's to no concern of anyone unless you are a huge, huge Outsider fan such as I am. I mean, I bought the books, I dove, you know, dwell into the history, lore, and anything in the game that remotely had the letter O on it. <laughs> um, not even jesting here. Anything that resembled honored or was gifted to the Outsider, I looked into it with a fine tune microscope glass and attempted to put it all together and come up with his own backstory. Ironically, one of the stories I'm working on is actually a story to kill the outsider. Now, ju not just the outsider, but the void itself. So I don't know if this is irony playing a cruel trick on me or if I just happen to be very unlucky. Obviously, they were planning this way in advance because early on they even said that the outsider knew that he was he was going to die one day and that he could foresee his own death just that he did not care very much so this kind of makes me think that the outsider does know what these two are up to and that he they are planning to kill him and if they do succeed I do not know because Dishonored has always been a choice based game whether you do high chaos or low chaos so I do not know if they're gonna have an option to actually save the outsider or fail assassinating him. However, if there is an option to do that, I will make sure I do it wholeheartedly and I hope the outsider rips them a new one, possibly, and as well as we all know that Dowd and the Outsider had some disdain with the first Dishonored DLC, uh, Knife of Dunwall. I do not know what the hell happened between those two characters, but I am generally curious. It's obviously something insane to have Dowd and Billy both decide, obviously together, that they don't like him enough to a point that they are going to plot to kill him. So it really... I just, I want to know, I really wish, if anything, they come up with a DLC explaining why or what the Outsider did to Dowd or what the, or what Dowd did to the Outsider to make them loathe each other so much. They can't just kill the Outsider, right? Right? I mean, there's always been a non-lethal route for every single game and DLC, so there's no way they're just gonna flip this on its head and give it a sudden non-choice for non- they're, they're not just gonna take the non-lethal choice out of the equation. This is a Dishonored game and I highly doubt they're just gonna break the rules all of a sudden, so there has to be a way to save him, right? I mean, there has to be. As a general side note, my heart is still in the pit of my stomach and I still want to resume crying. So there's that. I know that I'm not one to believe in coincidences, however, when I found out the DLC was called Death of the Outsider, I started bawling as I mentioned prior, however, I did not mention that at that same time it was raining lightly, however, when I started bawling, it started downpouring. I'm not one to believe in coincidences, but damn.